going to introduce you to something that I created. It's a formula that I created. And right now I, I've labeled the different components of this. I, you know, I've given them certain titles. I'm working on alliterating the titles so that those may change. I may leave them the same, but I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna wait to share it. I want to share this with you guys because it really shows exactly why corridors of consequence are so important. Now, if this is the first video you've heard me talk about corridors of consequence, I wanna tell you what those are. A corridor of consequence is that moment in your life where you have a decision to make and you have several of them every day. Some of them, the, and the decision you make in that moment makes all the difference. It changes the trajectory, it decides the trajectory of your life and leads to a certain consequence in your life. And that is what you're living with right now. And we all have corridors of consequence. Some of that consequence in our life, some of them are um, like change the degree of the, your trajectory of your life more than others do. Some of them are smaller but we all have several every single day. And so one of the things I've been teaching a lot about lately is mastering your corridors of consequence. And a corridor of consequence involves only five components. They are number one, corridor of consequence. That's the first piece, which leads to number two, the decision, which leads to number three, an action, which leads to number four, an outcome, which leads to a consequence. So let's go through those again. So you have a corridor of consequence where you have a moment of decision. You have to make the decision. Then you, once you make the decision, you, you take an action. And that action may or may not be something, you know, like you may do nothing, but that, that was the decision is that you do something or you don't do something, that was a choice. And an action, you take an action and it may lead to a positive or a negative outcome. The outcome is number four. And then the last thing, the outcome leads to a consequence. So you are living with a consequence. And if you were to imagine this, I call it the corridor of consequence continuum because it goes in a circle because it leads to each other. You have a corridor of consequence, which leads to a decision, which leads to an action, which leads to an outcome, which leads to a consequence. And then you have another corridor of consequence, okay? So in fact, I just, um, I'm, I have my book called Corridors of Consequence, How Not to Miss Out on Life's Best Opportunities. And I'm launching that first quarter. By the end of this month, we are launching that book. I'm really excited about it. So I want to share this concept with you that I put in the book. And I want, what I want to tell you is that you get, I, I don't tell people that you get to decide the consequences of your life. I tell people that you get to decide the ultimate consequences. You get to decide the ultimate consequences because sometimes you create the outcome and sometimes someone else creates the outcome, but the consequence is up to you. We've all been in situations where that were caused by someone else's actions and that person's actions led to an outcome that we didn't choose, but now we have to be involved with. But all five of these components are temporary. So I'm gonna go through each, all, all five of them. You encounter a corridor of consequence in your life and you don't get to take advantage of it forever. It's here, then it's gone. Some opportunities stay around longer than others, but it's still temporary. A corridor of consequence is temporary. Then comes the time to make a decision. You come across, you encounter a corridor of consequence. You now get to make a decision. The decision, the decision time comes and goes. Whether you choose to make a good decision, a bad decision, or no decision at all, every single one of those is a decision. Once you make it, the moment is gone. That is temporary. Then you have the action. The action you choose to take is a moment in time, and then it's gone. You take the action, and the time for the action is over. And again, whether you take a good action, a bad action, or no action at all, every single one of those is an action and it's temporary. The outcome is what happens because of your decision and your action. So you did, you made your decision, then you had an action and that leads to the outcome or sometimes the decision and action of someone else leads to the outcome. The outcome is only the beginning stages of what you're going to have to live with. But the outcome is also temporary. It's only the outcome until you encounter another corridor of consequence and start the process all over again, which of course will lead to a different consequence. The outcome is temporary. The consequence is the situation. This is number five. This is the last part of the cycle. The consequence is the situation that settles on your life after the outcome. The consequence is what you will live with every single day. So all you have to do to change the consequence you don't like 
is start the cycle again and make different choices or take different actions. Even if someone else's decision and action led to an outcome for you and now you're living with the consequence, the consequence is only temporary. That means if the consequence is a bad one for you, then you get to start the process again and make different choices at the decision and action phase. That will lead to a different outcome, which creates a different consequence. If the consequence of someone else's choices is a good one for you, because that does happen too, then when another corridor of consequence comes along in your life, you're going to want to make the same decisions, take the same actions, if you can, to ensure the same outcome and consequence. Either way, you'll want to understand exactly what decisions and actions led to this outcome and then the consequence that you're living with right now because you like it. This is why Albert Einstein said the definition of insanity is repeating the same behaviors and expecting a different outcome. You have got to do something different if you want different consequences, but don't be thinking it has to be some huge undertaking. It doesn't. You don't have to change everything and you don't have to do everything right or what people say is right. In fact, you only have to change one thing in one of those five components to get a different outcome. Most people are so busy looking at the current consequences that they're dealing with and lamenting how they got there that they forget how much power they have to change the trajectory of their lives by just making one simple change. And that change can happen more quickly than most people realize. The most powerful thing about this whole concept is that the formula doesn't actually go in a straight line. It goes in a circle. It goes in a circle, which means by the time you're done and you have the consequence, you're ready for another corridor of consequence. I mean, yeah, you have the consequence. You're ready for another corridor of consequence. That's why it's called a corridor of consequence, because it's a corridor, like with doors on the sides of the halls. And every one of those doors is a decision that you get to make. You have so much power. You have so much choice in your life to make of your life what you want it to be. You can do this. You're amazing and you can go forward and you can reach your dreams and you can stop using what has happened in your life in the past as an excuse that is stopping you from being able to achieve what you know you can achieve. You can do this.